Right. We're close. It's close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. 29 health. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. How did that work? Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to our Expert Mode Mage playthrough. Now in the last episode we had a little debate about these type of houses and we also took down Skeletron in Expert Mode and we got ourselves a Water Bolt, a Book of Skulls and an Aqua Scepter but I missed out on the Magic Missile um, but I don't think I'm going to go and get it because, to be honest, it's it, it's a rubbish magic weapon. Um, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. Now, I was doing some um, I was doing some research for your comments. And uh, my favorite comment from yesterday was somebody who said, No, instead of just loads of mana potions, you need to do one potion for one NPC and another for another NPC. And, uh, you know, you know, make it themed. And I was like, that is really cool. I was like, that is so cool. And a hundred of you gave it thumbs up, so you must like it as well. But I did one thing. I was like, because a lot of people, a lot of people have been in debate about this, whether having the potions house is a good idea. And I think it is, but I get where a lot of people are coming from. So I think I've solved everyone's issue. So a lot of people, this is not done by the way, a lot of people wanted like a wizard's tower, um, a wizard's tower and uh, potion bottle houses. So I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll build a massive castle, and inside of this massive castle will be a few random potions that we've built. And, you know, Tim has spilt some kind of enlarging potion on them. And uh, I thought that'd do. So I built this mock-up castle, just this one little part. Uh, like I say, it's not done. I'm going to kind of flesh this out a little bit and kind of expand over here and such. But I want to get building some potions, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start with a speed up, just like I have done in previous episodes of me building. Um, I'm going to build, because this is a thing, I want all of the houses, to, or all of the potions, to be able to have gemstone blocks. So the next one I'm going to build now is a magic power potion. I'm also going to build an iron skin, and a hunter, and maybe a flask. So I'm going to get started with that, and um, we'll get building. Okay, so that's the magic power bottle done. Um, this part is like more grey than the other potions. Um, but if I zoom out, you'll see 
that's kind of what they look like. I mean, I don't have one on us, but uh, that is, that's what they look like. That one's a little bit off, isn't it? I think if this area was more grey, it'd look a little bit better. Um, but no, I like that. I like that. That's, um, that's kind of cool. So yeah, so I think I'm going to work on the iron skin one now. And uh, what I'll do is, like, that can be, uh, one can be the wizard. Oh, I might do, hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is this, this, and then iron skin, and then a healing pot for the nurse. Um, but, for example, this can be the party girl, because it's kind of her colour. This can be the wizard when we get him. Um, and then we'll do iron skin. The iron skin can be, who's the strongest uh, NPC that we have? I'd say the strongest is... Hmm, that's actually a really good point. Who is the strongest NPC? That's a that's a tournament I want to find out. Um, uh, I'm, I'll give that to the merchant, the iron skin. Yeah, and then I'll do a healing pot for the nurse. So I'm just going to quickly build them now, and uh, we'll take a look. Alright, so in today's episode, we're going to be taking down the Eater of Worlds, and I also want to take down Queen Bee. So, actually, let's just get started on this. I don't actually need that much to go and take down... The Eater of Worlds. I got myself a mana potion. Uh, well, I've got a few. Obviously, it gives mana sickness. Um, but I thought either way, you know, it'd be good to um, it'd be good to have them uh, because I don't have any Moon Glow just yet to actually go and craft us some mana regeneration potions. And it's going to be a little bit of a while before I can actually go and get some Moon Glow since at the minute it's not night and you can only really get them at night that seems to be when they blossom uh, but oh here are the uh, here are the iron skin and here's the healing one i don't have any rubies yet to actually fill up the back wall um i don't know on the map they look kind of cool but these these bottlenecks these ones don't turn out the way you kind of want them to but that is exactly like scale to scale how they should look it's because in the sprite, they seem a little bit darker. It's the same with this one. This one seems darker, but because it's so iconic and such a simple design. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I think it's quirky. It's always nice to have a little bit of quirkiness and uniqueness uh, when you're building houses like this. All right, so let's go take on the Eater of Worlds. We actually only have to destroy one, um, one little platform because we already have an area where... Um, uh, sorry, we only have to destroy one orb because we've already destroyed two. So let's go and do that now. We'll just go down. It's glad to be. I'm glad to be finally taking it down because we've missed out on the worm scarf so far. Which uh, the worm scarf is actually really handy to like all characters in expert mode. Um, I'm surprised I even got like to defeat expert Skeletron without it. Um, this seems cool. Let's see, which one is that? It's this one here. We could always destroy this one and then kind of have like a long fight because we're using the water bolt anyway. So, uh, and we have mobility to our advantage because obviously we can um, we can jump up and down a lot because of our accessories. Oh, okay, this is not the right path. Oh, but it kind of leads into the right path. Okay. All right, what's at the bottom here? Right, just water. Okay. Hmm, alright. So, let's see here. Oh, I actually needed to grab some wood. That was something I needed to do. So let's go and grab some wood. Uh, let's get my axe out. And we'll grab some wood and we'll build some platforms. And we'll kind of get this done. This should be a really, really easy fight at this point. Because obviously, um, we've got a lot of accessories now. We're quite a strong wizard. It's just kind of the fact that we have to actually get this done. Um, and then Queen Bee is simply because a bee gun would be kind of cool because it is a magic weapon. Um, but I don't know if it's a little bit overpowered. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to consider that. Because we could use the bee gun in combination with the water bolt when we're uh, fighting expert uh, wall of flesh. And I'm kind of looking forward to the wall of flesh fight because my last wall of flesh fight in a challenge series was the yo-yo one. And that was so hard. It was such a hard fight because um, we weren't fast enough, but we had to be close. So it was, it was, it was really, really, it was really, really challenging. And it kept because we were so close, it kept doing amazing damage. And we couldn't, uh, we couldn't destroy the hungry fast enough because we could only like kill one at a time, pretty much. It was a, it was a, definitely a really mad fight. Um, a really, really mad fight. Okay, let's craft up some platforms. Uh, where should we do this? We should probably do it here. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Come on, guys. Alright, there you go. Oh, I love this so much. Hmm, okay. Where should we do this? We should probably do it there. 
So let's go up a bit. Um, okay, let's go to here. And yeah, let's build this here. Okay, don't need the, the biggest of arenas. It's not a particularly bright area as well, and I haven't brought any torches. It's just because I've been building. When I build, I always seem to, um, I always seem to, like, put away my torches. Come here, I know what we can do, though. We can grab this one. Oh, no. Come on, buddy. Alright, destroy you. Alright, we'll grab this one and place this here. And we'll grab this one. Oh, snap. <laughs> Man, it's so much nicer to use the Aqua Scepter on these guys. Do I, I might actually use the Aqua Scepter for the fight. Yeah, that seems kind of like a nicer thing to use, to be honest. It's going to, like, hit a lot of things. Right, let's take this one and place this here. Alright, so that's a little bit better lighting. I know it's not the best, uh, but considering this will be a quick fight, I don't think it matters too much. I'm uh, going to grab some Pad Thai. Alright, and wait for this. Right, let's uh, let's get this going. Okay, Ear of Worlds has awoken. Come on, buddy. Yeah, no, this is a cool thing. Although the uh, the water bolt would be uh, extra special here, wouldn't it? Because obviously with the water bolt, we could uh, just kind of bounce it everywhere. I don't know. I think this is fun. Ooh, okay, snap. Taking a lot of damage. Come on, buddy. Yep. Let it just happen like that. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's wait for it to charge at us again. Okay. Alright, we'll probably have to go down there and actually get some of that demonite. Okay, just a little part of you now. Come on, buddy. <laughs> this is mad. This is absolutely mad. Alright, awesome. Eater of Worlds trophy and a treasure bag. Right, I should probably go down and get some of that demonite that's been dropped. Uh, there's probably a lot of it. Alright, we'll use the uh, lighting of a water bolt. Yeah, look at this. Demonite ore, shadow scale. All good stuff for crafting. Right, so let's go back to the house. Ooh, that's new. So that's the uh, that's part of the sprite change in 1.3.1. I've not seen that yet. I know you're thinking, hey, 1.3.1's been out a few months not like two months um but i didn't see that because i've not done that since then because we uh we did our yo-yo challenge instead um okay let's uh let's get this all crafted up all right of course the first thing i'm going to go for is the pickaxe because we need that and then other than that i don't actually need anything uh with this demonite so let's open this up bam we got a Lucky Worm Scarf, some more Demonite Ore, and some more Shadow Scale. Oh my god, you actually get quite a lot. I didn't know that you got more during the fight. Um, yeah, I didn't know you got more in the uh, actual treasure bag, because you get so much during the fight. Right, okay. Um, and then, I think that's it, really. I think that's all we um, that's all we did this for. Good. Well, that is done. Right, so I'm going to quickly travel to the jungle now. And uh, we'll go take down the Queen Bee, which should be equally as fun. Alright, so it's time to take down uh, the Queen Bee. This should be a pretty easy fight, uh, once again. It's just avoiding her, essentially. One, two, three. And then she comes down to the top, right? Or she should do. Ooh, 50 damage, actually. Do you know what? Ooh, okay, I, under I underestimated this. This is actually a little bit harder than I thought. Yeah, wow. Actually, she does a lot more damage than... Um, yeah, okay. At least the good thing about this is when you do it in um, a mage playthrough, all these little things drop um, little mana stars. So that's kind of like a, an advantage right there. Right, and then it should start doing the charge thing any second. We're doing good damage to it, but we just need to make sure that we're actually avoiding some of its attacks. But, oh no, we've got such a confined space. Okay. Jump one more time. Ooh, okay, this has actually been a little bit more, uh, I've been a little too cocky with this fight, and uh, it's kind of coming back to me now, isn't it? Look at that, 37 damage, wow. Oh, okay, and we're walking into its attacks, not good, not good. Okay, Queen Bee's probably going to get the best of us here. Yeah, it did. Right, okay, need to be a little bit more sensible than that, that was actually way too cocky. 
Tim is not that powerful yet. <laughs> So I was mining around for a uh, another queen bee biome because I don't actually know where one is. And look at this. I found the biggest bloody vein of diamonds, right? Where was they when <laughs> when we needed them? When uh, we spent five episodes looking for them, where were they? I say five. It was more like, it was three. Was it three or four? I think it was four episodes. My God. Uh, just like the biggest, like that's actually like such a lucky um, find to be honest. But yeah, so I don't actually know where another queen bee biome is, uh, unfortunately. But my plan is, if I get down to hell, we're going to start farming for the um, for the demon scythe, which is uh, another magical weapon that we'll be looking for um, for our playthrough, and uh, kind of like going towards that. So I'm just going to see if I can find it. I can find it. If I can't, hey, there we go. Hey, we can do this together right now then. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, I, I hope this one is a little bit bigger than the one we had before. I'm grabbing all this silt just because I just kind of want gems still. I could do with some rubies, to be honest. Oh, sorry, I killed bees with a pickaxe. That doesn't count. It's just because that's what you do with bees. They're the most annoying enemies in the game. I mean, like, who wants to whip out a water bottle and actually take them down? Not me. Um, let's see, how big is this arena going to be? Come on, buddy. Oh, for God's sake, bees, get out of here. Get out of here, bees. Come on. I could do a really nice, like, large uh, bee arena. My God, I hate bees. <laughs> Not the bees. Hey, hey uh, a life crystal as well. Not a bad little place, this. All right, this one's a lot bigger. This one will do. Right, okay. Let's uh, put this up. Alright, let's uh, mine across here. Yeah, this will give us a little bit more room to actually start avoiding some of these attacks. Ah, that's a problem. I might have to just... I can I can do this. I mean, that's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah, so now I can start moving around. I'm going to get my, uh, my Shield of Cthulhu as well. So we can kind of do a little bit of this. And I've also put on the uh, the worm scarf. So we have a little bit less uh, defense now, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably just... No, I'll keep these and I'll bin that. Okay. Right, so let's buff up and start this thing. Did I just take an invisibility potion? Oh, it did. Oh, that's odd. Okay. All right, buddy, come on. We're here to kill you, and we're here to kill your uh, your bees. I took a uh, magical power potion for this, because I was like, if we do it faster, less chance of us dying. Man, the Book of Skulls is actually pretty good. I've never actually, like, fully fledged to use this before. There we go. All right, it's about time. He's oh, oh my god, you're fast. I forgot Expert Mode B gets a lot faster, doesn't she? Does she get so fast that you can't even hit her? Is that a thing? He meant to start doing this. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh, I don't think I've done expert mode B in such a long time. Okay. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Come on. Come on, game. Alright, Aquaceptor it is then. Um Right. We're close, it's close. Oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, 29 health! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. That work? How did that even die? Oh my god, that was a, that was a funny fight. I'm gonna have to go grab that now. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I've returned to see our loot. Let's see. Oh, nice. Let's open this up. Bam. Okay, so we got for that. Um, hmm, okay. Let's get rid of the honey block. We got some bee nades, which we're not going to use. We got a slime staff? When did I get a slime staff? Did I just pick that up? If I just picked that up on camera and I didn't recognize, I'm so sorry. It's because I wasn't... Oh, snap! Yes! Yes! I love this item. Honey goggles. Oh my god. I love this. This is actually really rare as well. Oh my god, we've had such good luck in this series so far, I love it. 
I absolutely love it. At what point did I get the slime staff, though? I don't know if I got it on the way there. We can't use that. All right, let's shop. Let's sell this. Let's sell the bean aids, the hook. Um... Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Guys, once again, thank you so much for uh, coming and joining me and Tim on our wizard adventure. I want to know your thoughts on the house. It's been so fun reading through all of your comments and making these changes. Um, just let me know. For example, if you don't like the new potions, just say. And um, we can get a little discussion going. And I'm liking, I'm liking what we're doing at the minute by, like, we're all kind of throwing in ideas, rating them, you know, balancing arguments and such, and then kind of coming in every day and building them. And uh, let me know, are the, are the time lapse is too much now. You'll have to let me know. I've done like three in a row. I think that's a sin. Anyway, guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.